Hey, TikTok, YouTube, we are live. I put out a post. I just put it on TikTok. I thought I did last night, but I didn't. I put out a post and it said, hey, big head, I miss you. Hey, stranger, are you still mad at me? Now, I'm going to need for y'all to stop falling for the okie doke because your head is not big. They don't miss you. Um, you're not a stranger. They they have no... Not that they have no... They don't... They don't want you with somebody else. So when they start with that nonsense and they start going on and on about it, hey, hey, how you doing? Haven't heard from you in a while. Uh, can we go sit down and have drinks and all that nonsense after you broke up with them, told them why you want to break up, why you don't want to be bothered with them. They still want to keep their foot in the door and come with all that nonsense. Hey, big head. Just delete the text. Don't even don't even respond to it. Because at the end of the day. Those same people, when they had a chance to be with you, to treat you right, they didn't. So why are we going to sit there and entertain people who don't really care about you, who don't really love you? They're just, some of them are probably just bored. Um, they don't, they don't, they don't care anything about you. And they know they don't care anything about you. They just don't want you with somebody else. And some of them are probably, some of them have probably told you that they don't want you with anybody else. But because you lack boundaries and you don't know your worth, you keep falling into that same trap. So when you get to the point where you've, you've almost got to the point where you're not so much as in you have low self-worth or you you're working on different things and you level up in certain ways. And now they see that level up. They see you got a new car. They see you out and about. They see you traveling. They see you with your new friend or boyfriend or girlfriend. And now all of a sudden it's, hey, big head. Hey, I miss you. You're a stranger. Hey, stranger. And, and are you still mad at me? And all that nonsense is just nonsense. So you have to continue to keep that chapter closed and learn that this is just a distraction. That's all it is. It's a, distract. it's a distraction. Because now that you're trying to level up and you're trying to get up, hard, uh, get up higher, they want to bring you back down to where you were when you were with them. And we don't want that. We don't want to be back in a state of our mental health is not good. We're not eating right. We're shutting everybody off because we're with this person. They don't want you to be with anybody else. You don't want to get back to that, that person. So when it comes to being self-aware of the things that you let people do to you and being accountable for the stuff that, that goes on in your life that you let go on. Yeah, people do things, but when you find out Someone stole your car. You're not going to let them use your car again because you, they they stole cars. They stole your car. Or you find out that someone steals. You're going to let them in your house knowing that they steal. And then you come back home and, and stuff is not where it's supposed to be. And, and we got to stop thinking that these people have changed because the majority of the time they haven't. They just see that you're changing and they don't want that change for you because they know you're better off without them. So once people know that you're better off without them, if they can get their foot in the door just a little bit, they are going to try you. So we got to stop giving them. We got to stop opening the door. Can't get your foot in the door if it ain't open. We got to stop letting them in a little bit, a little bit, a little bit becomes big. You you think you let them in a little bit and now, it's, now they're in the house on the couch. They didn't change. They don't love you. They don't even care about you. 
Because if they did, it would have never did whatever they did to put them in the category that they're in now. Because sometimes you got to just put people in categories. They don't want the best from you. They don't want the best for you. They never wanted the best for you. They want you when they want you. They don't even like you. They mess up your mental health. Mess up your mental peace. Mess up your mental wellness. Your anxiety is high. All these things that go on when you're when certain people are in your circle. So we got to stop with this thinking you got to forgive people. You can forgive them, but you don't have to allow them back in your life. And I don't care who it is. Mother, father, sister, brother, cousin, uncle, auntie, whoever, old friend, whoever it is, at your ex, whoever. You don't have to let them back in your life. And I know that's harsh to say with family, but it is what it is. If they're 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 not adding to your life in any any way that is significant for you to even say, okay, I'm gonna bring this person. No, stop, stop, stop bringing people in your life. They don't, they're not, they don't care. They don't care about you. They want you when they want you. They want to see you when they want you, want to see you. You're on their time. And that's and it's over for that. Time is up. They messed up. Go let them lay where they lay and, and keep it that way. New people will come into your life. Better people will come into your life. People that will feed into you and you feed into them. So stop thinking that, oh, because you got rid of all these people that nobody, you're not going to have any friends or or whatever. Newer people, better people will come into your life. But you have to take that time and separate yourself from the people that don't mean the best for you. So I'll talk to you guys later.